let us now see how we calculate the mean life of a radioactive element. We can start that if at t equals to zero, there were n not nuclei of an element, and after time t. n are left. So here we can say in time t equals to zero to t equals to t, n not minus n nuclei decayed. And here we can say if in further time t to t plus dt dn nuclei will decay. This implies here we can write total life of these dn nuclei or will be taken as t because these dn nuclei were in existence as parent nuclei from t equals to zero to t, as that from time t to t plus dt. These dn nuclei decay, so these dn totally will last from zero to t. So each of the nuclei among these dn will have a total life span t. This implies sum of lives of these dn nuclei will be. This can be written in. As dTL, where TL is the total life of uh, all the nuclei, and dTL will be the total life of uh, dN nuclei. This will be equals to T dN because each nuclei out of this dN will have a life span T. So all the nuclei which have total quantity dN will have total life T dN. So here we can write sum of uh, lives of. All nuclei in sample will be this total life can be written as integration of dTL that is T dN, and according to decay law, we use dN as equals to lambda in dT. This implies here total life we are getting is integration of T. Dn we can write lambda n dt and n we can write n not e to power minus lambda t dt, which will be integrated from zero to infinity. As we know that the whole sample will be consumed up to infinity when all the nuclei and not nuclei will transform from parent to daughter state. Now this will be integrated by parts. So when we integrate this. This total life we can write as uh, this will be lambda and not and uh, which is a constant and t into e to the power minus lambda t can be integrated as minus t by lambda e to the power minus lambda t plus e to the power minus lambda t by lambda square and we apply the limits from zero to infinity. I'm leaving this integration by parts as an exercise for you. And if you substitute the limits after calculation, this will give you n not by lambda. You can easily simplify and verify. So here we can directly write the mean life of a radioactive element for this sample TM. We can write as total life of all the nuclei in the sample divided by n not. If we substitute the value, will be one by lambda, which we already studied directly in the previous section.